Praise be Jesus Christ. I got the bright idea that I would keep a log of how many nights I spend at my camp this year. But rather than getting a notebook to log how many nights, I decided just to get a book that has page numbers and I would just write a note at each page. So on page one would be day one. On page 10 means I spent 10 nights at my camp. And I decided, I just, I have a whole bunch of books at random. I chose a private revelation book called He and I. It's a book that a priest friend of mine who does the traditional Latin mass was uh, encouraging his parishioners to read. So I figured that's probably, probably got to be pretty good. And so I've been logging and I've also been reading these messages and I've been deeply touched by them. They're, they're beautiful and profound. And I just mentioned this to you to get feedback from you, my viewers. If you've ever read He and I and what you think about it. Now, I'll just give you the executive summary. This is from um, Wikipedia. The author is uh, a French woman named Gabrielle Bossis. It says here, uh, born 1874, died in 1950, was a French Catholic laywoman, nurse, playwright, actress, and mystic. Best known for her mystical work, Louis et moi, he, uh, he and I, published in a very abridged English translation as He and I. The book recounts her dialogues with Jesus, which came to her as an inner voice, and which she recorded in a series of journals from 1936 to shortly before her death in 1950. Now, the reason I mention this is, for the last while, I've been trying to make an effort to try to listen to the intuitions of my heart. I'm just convinced that the Lord, He speaks to us in a mysterious way in the stillness of our hearts. And if we could just quiet down and recollect ourselves and try to listen, we would find that the Lord, He speaks quite clearly to us. Now, it needs to be said, any human who's hearing from the Lord, it's coming through a, a human filter. It's never 100%. And even when you read private revelation, even private revelation approved by the church, you always have to understand this is coming through a human filter. It's not 100%, but it's a lot of it, it's just, it's quite accurate, quite right on, you can say. And like I said, I think as Christians, as disciples of the Lord Jesus, we need to learn to hear his voice. In John chapter 10, the Lord Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Viva Cristo Rey.